like, firstly, like, I came on, I came on holiday when I was here when I was 14 and I just fell in love with the country, so it's always been my favourite country, but to, to tour here, yeah, yeah, the, the, food, the food is amazing, the views, the views are amazing, the people are wicked, and, the, and when it comes to, like, I, I, I do a lot of touring around and every, every single city we go to, we do great radio interviews, and London and England has a great sense of humour and they'll rip take the piss out of me and we'll, we'll have, have a bit of banter. But every single other country is either like, is either dead or they go a bit too far and uh, they don't really know where, where to stop. And the first interview I had in Australia when I came out of here in uh, November, they, uh, I, I, I did an interview in Sydney and I went in and the first thing they said on air was, you're a little bit orange, how does that feel? I thought, wicked, wicked, this is going to be fun. So, uh, congrats for your sense of humour, Australia. Now I have some, uh, I have some good news and some bad news. I'm going to say the bad news first because it will lighten the blow, and you will help get to give some good news and it will smooth it over again. So the bad news is this is my final song. Oh, come on, I expected a bit more of that. Thank you. Thank you. I'll, I will read it. I won't read it now because I'm playing a gig, but I will definitely read it. So the, the, the bad news is that this is the fun. Oh, do, you know, do you know what? Do you know what? This is this is actually nice. I, I, I did a gig. I, I did a gig. Uh, I did a gig. A, a radio show where I was playing just before Jason Status and Nero. And uh, the gig was probably. I mean, it was it was a crowd that came to watch dubstep. And obviously, I'm not a dubstep band. And. Uh, it was probably it was probably about 99.9 percent men with their tops off, ready ready to mosh. So you know, but like I I spent some time opening up opening up for some acts like that. So I had some songs and I thought, yeah, cool, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to do this. But the radio DJ walked on stage and said, "Ladies, make some noise!" And I was kind of like, "There's no ladies here, and they're definitely not here for love songs." So um, yeah, I got a lot of other stuff chucked on stage, but this is this, this is quite nice. So thank you. Um, anyway, I need a bit more reaction. This is my final song. You actually sound like you're happy that it's the final song. Give it a bit of a boo. Come on. Who's behind you? Oh no, he isn't. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm just glad it's not, it's not hitting me. I got hit in the eye with a glow stick in Sydney. Into it. <laughs> um, so this is my uh, this is my final song. That's the bad news. The good news is. The good news is like every every other musical act on the planet will always say. Thank you for coming. This is this. This is our final song we're going to play, and uh, thank you, you know, we'll, we'll see you next time we're here. And they'll finish playing the song, they'll walk off stage, and uh, wait in the wings, patiently. And if the crowd want to hear more, they'll make an epic amount of noise, and if they don't, they'll go home and have a cup of tea and watch Game of Thrones and wonder what we're going to So, if, uh, if you would like to go home, have a cup of tea or hot chocolate or whatever, and watch, and watch some Game of Thrones, and thank you so much for coming, hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, this is this is the final song, and if you would like to, if you'd like to hear some more after this, I'm going to be waiting in the wings <laughs> patiently. Thank you. And if you'd like to hear another song, then I will come back and end and play some more. But for now, let's go for in session. Say hey. I need you singing on this one. Um, I need actually your diaphragms involved in this. Everyone stand up. Sorry, again, people up top. Everyone stand up. Everyone stand up. People up top, you're going to have to sing doubly as loud as this one. Everyone, get your stomachs involved. Diaphragm. Mm. Mm. <laughs> right, let's have a ground swell. Let's have a... But I got you to keep me warm. If you 
broken out of me yeah, I keep you shattered from a storm that's raging all night I'm out of touch, I'm out of love I'll pick you up when you're getting down And out of all these things I've done I think I love you better now I'm out of sight, I'm out of mind I'll do it all for you in time And out of all these things I've done I think I love you better now. I did a TV show in uh, Italy and um, no one knew who I was and all they did was that for about 20 minutes while I was playing this song. And I'm just getting some flashbacks. If I do burst out laughing during this song, it's, it's because of that. Like literally. <laughs> I'm gonna paint you white numbers and colour you in. Then I'll hold you up and I'll push you on a wall. And it's so hard to say it, but I've been here before. Now I want to render up my heart and swap it for yours. Now I'm out of touch, I'm out of love. I'll pick you up when you get me. I think I loved you better now. I'm out of sight, I'm out of mind. I'll do it all for you in time. Oh, do it all. 